I'm going to get some of them. Wait, what? I'm going to get some of them and they can rap. But I can't oh, buy no. this more. Oh, no. No. Is he not crying for real? He thought he was just drunk and slur. He is legit drunk crying. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Marshall, Marshall Matters, Matters Monday. Monday. We check out things related to Eminem and Eminem affiliates and such. So, um, this was a little different. We're not reacting to a song on this one. We, we are going to get those today, so check out those videos. But this, um, basically, uh, uh, catching up on the whole back and forth between Benzino and Marshall Mathers. I don't apparently, even think it's a back and forth. It's a 10 minute crying mm -hmm. session. Apparently, we'll see. Because, um, the headline for this video is Benzino reduced to tears over Eminem. Tears leave the is internet fucking is shocked. ridiculous. I was like, yo, this headline is worth the reaction. Uh, shout out to ET Lifestyle. That's the, the channel that made this video. It keeps people up on like hip hop news and Eminem related news. So big shout out to you. Um, but yeah, I saw this headline and was like, if this is for real, if he's really crying, he's oh my God, crying, I got to see bro. this. I got it. Let, let's see. Let's go. <laughs> people think they want this problem. <laughs> Till they, they, they get it. Till they get it. What was this? Oh, 19, uh, 2019, okay. Figure it out. Is it 2009, 2019? I said 2019. It. I said it right there. No, you the didn't. Time. He called the second time. He got it wrong the first time. He added I think on they the want this problem right. till they get it. Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we'll be exploring more from Benzino that's left music fans around the world in shock. All thanks to his latest interview Hello. on Drink Champs. And their reactions <laughs> online have been haunting to say the least. And here's a quick summary of the key events that led up to this moment. Before we take a deep dive into Benzino's latest interview. Since many rap fans and even hip hop media journals who should know better like Charlemagne and Envy were evidently lost when Benzino Benzino versus Eminem got reignited in 2024. I don't know where this came that from. It. That ain't it, Eminem. I don't know where that came from either. That, that ain't it, Eminem. What, what's the why? It didn't just come out of nowhere wrong, as Benzino so ran. <laughs> how are you hip hop radio? <laughs> and you and don't know what's going on. You, the street, you're supposed to do, you do donkey of the day and all the latest news, but you don't know that Benzino been yapping his gums. Like, how did y'all, like... His shoulders is holding up his head because he, there's nothing in between. He been flipping his lips. It's one of those things where it's either y'all ain't paying attention like y'all should or you're being biased. And one both or are, no, no. Mm. Everybody knows what it is. Benzino been bumping his gum <clears throat> since Eminem got into the Hip Hop Hall of Fame. Well, apparently not everybody. People who don't pay attention. People who pay attention know what it is. These niggas know for real. Like, you <laughs> can come on. There's no way for they real. don't know. It's just straddling the fence. And I know Fraud Envy ain't talking about nothing, bro. You need to just shut up and worry yeah, about you not are going a to jail. You are a fraud, <laughs> Emptied up in the 2020s decade after news hit the web that Eminem was nominated for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Back then, he even went back and forth with his daughter, Coyle Ray, who called him out for being bitter when she chose to defend Eminem. And after the spat, Benzino went on rants about Eminem in multiple interviews. He even clashed with 50 Cent over this. And a few months ago, Coyle Ray was on my expert opinion and they Even if me and my father could could never be speaking for fucking years. If that was to happen, I'll be like, right, hold on, let me just tell you this. Let me bring it to your attention and hopefully he'll be like, you know what, I'm past the past. I'm grateful for who I am. I'm grateful for what it made me. And you know, I love you and I support you and I support anything that you want to do. And if it is positive, it's gonna be better it's gonna be better you in a way. What? It's like it's gonna it's, be better in it's well, gonna be better you in any oh, way than uh, I'm for oh my it's god. It's basically the most long winded way to say that I have to ask my daddy. <laughs> I felt like I didn't know how to read when I got towards the bottom. Cause she don't know how to write. Like what what, what, what? was that? I don't know. 
They spoke about Eminem, but perhaps they thought Eminem wasn't following the news, but they thought wrong, as on Doomsday Part 2, Eminem addressed Benzino and also the fact that Coyle Ray said she'd need Benzino's permission to ever work with Eminem, hence why Eminem said, guess that Coyle Ray fits in the toilet. Benzino then dropped Volturious that no one cared about, but with the help of a team of writers, he dropped Rap track, Elvis right? shortly after. Yeah, Volturious? Voltorius? Like Are you trying to call yourself a vulture? Like, that shit make it make like, sense. Trying to call him like the vulture of all vultures kind of thing. Like, it was trash. It was. After, and he has been on a quote victory lap since then, which led to multiple interviews. What we not gonna do is use anything Nipsey Hustle on this fraud over here. Victory lap. That's what he's been calling it, though. He's like, I'm taking my victory lap. How do you steal it from Nip? Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, now including the one we are about to explore that shocked fans. So from the get-go, Benzino was chugging it down on Dream Champs that raised eyebrows <laughs> when- Hold up, back that up! Please. This man over here, like, just killed the whole glass, like- yeah, Including the one we are about to explore <laughs> that shocked even. fans. So from the get-go, Benzino was chugging it down yeah, on Dream please, Champs boy. that raised eyebrows- Damn. Bro, I watched The bottom Drink of his Champs. chin was gulping. There was no neck there. Just the bottom of his chin like a frog. I watched Drink Champs and I ain't never seen nobody. <laughs> that wasn't that was a, a shot, That was bro. a glass. That boy a demon. <laughs> Your life is so shitty just because you talk the shit about him. This is what you do. Usually when you go on Drink Champs, no, his, you take a drink, you have a question, you ask him questions, you call, life is shitty you be. take another drink. His life is shitty for other reasons. He needs it, and that's what's keeping him relevant. But I'm just saying. <laughs> Ooh, oh, man. That's, that's some I got problems at home type drinker right there. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if y'all watch hot ones. You don't start with the hot one first and then work your way I'm not down. Gonna, I, that's not the I have problems at home. That's the I am the problem at home. For right? real. <laughs> that was when the trailer oh, dropped. No. And I remember and the user pointed out back like, then that Ben was ready for more. Oh, man. He slammed it down like he was still in his place. Oh, I was going to say, Benzina really thought that whole sip of beer was a good idea. Man's alcohol has less time to travel to his system than anyone, and he still took the risk. Oh, that's messed oh, up. Oh, 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 that's <laughs> no less time to travel. Mm -mm. <laughs> it is going straight from your mouth into your stomach. There is no jugular. <laughs> no jugular. <laughs> Oh, Why you gotta pause it there with that face? Oh, that's, that should that's go from neck to gut. Oh, that's gonna be the oh. thumbnail. Neck to liver. Oh my god. Neck to liver. But dropped. Mm -hmm. And I remember uh, the user pointed out back then that Benzino should have known better than to do that since the drink had less travel distance to get into his system based on the whole, you know, no neck thing. And now that the full interview is out, it started with this. Benzino going off on Eminem in a rant that would make Dr. Umar proud. Let's talk about Eminem, man. Hold on, let's talk about Eminem. Let's talk about Eminem, yo. That's why we here tonight. Huh? Fuck Eminem. And fuck everybody down with Eminem. And my thing is this, bro. My thing is this. Come on, face me. Fuck everybody down with Eminem? So, you've never worked with a lot of people. There's a lot of people. If nail in the coffin wasn't enough, you would have added some extra ones to it. Because some of the greatest rappers out there have said M is the best. And Lil Wayne, Jay-Z, Ice-T, uh, Warren G, um, come on. Um, so you just this is, this is how the this is how the interview kicks off and we still got plenty more he to denying, go. So. He denying fame from every possible source. He he's cause he's not famous anymore. He's just trying to be relevant and he's you not going on you, this. You, you ain't gonna talk to no Jack Harlow, mm -hmm. no no Corday, no Snoop Dogg, no nothing. He not right. doing he's talking about the mean streets he's gonna help him and it's not. Mm -hmm. Let's go. The Boston will motherfuck destroy him from Boston, bro. We're like Death and destruction is all we know, you know? Right. Like, come on, man. Like, you know, these. Death and destruction? <laughs> Both of you destroyed, nigga. Never. Oh, man. Just break me, break me back to me on the top of Boston, the mean streets of Boston. <laughs> Who has he ever destroyed? 
Yeah. And I'm not talking about other people in Boston that I don't know about. I'm strictly asking We're about talking Benzino. about Ray Benzino. If y'all know anybody in rap that he has ever destroyed on his own, yeah, no ghost writers on Put it down in the comments, Let please. Us Just real question. You keep stuck in Boston. Boston, do y'all rep <laughs> Benzino? Yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> y'all rep Ray Benzino? Do y'all? Let us know. Let us know. Ray Benzino? Like, come on, man. Like, you know, these be for 20 years is, oh, f you, Eminem, destroyed. Destroyed who? Right. Who the f he destroyed, bro? Okay. You think I'm scared to die? I know. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, you, think was dying. Dying. Oh, you think I'm scared? That's the alcohol coming out. You think I'm scared to die? <laughs> like, wait, what? I told you, we didn't have enough time to travel. It just... That was the alcohol coming out right there. We were even like, what are we talking about? We were talking about rap for a second. Y'all like a minute into the interview. That shit already hit him. <laughs> you, you can tell. Oh, I, I have a feeling it's going to go downhill from here. Is, are you going to be literally what the headline says? What is he talking about? What the f can he do to me, bro? Right. Huh? What right. the f can he do to me, bro? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. All that. That's how we live. That's the alcohol. That's the alcohol. They hit him. Now he's standing up and everything. The alcohol didn't hit him. He is. That, that man is. He's drunk. He that. You saw him kill that bottle. That it has hit Shit, him already. Yo, I, to get yeah. him nothing. nothing else for real down, oh man they gonna let give us, him more though let us continue that man uh, yeah what we doing <laughs> oh but benzino had more to add as he was oh, banking on the <laughs> ignorance of many hip-hop fans you know people like charlemagne and envy as he tried to play the victim angle using coil array for pity points <laughs> He thought he could just diss me and mention my princess, my baby. He thought he could mention the princess. All of a sudden today, right now, on this interview, she was a princess. Did he just tell her, F you, I asked you for some money. I'm your daddy. You supposed to give me money. Not to mention, M didn't diss her. He just made a statement like the feature ain't going to happen. He was dissing you. <laughs> like, it's your fault, bro. But you kissed your own kid, bro, so you can't be. And she's not a baby. Let's all remember that when you talk shit about Haley. Haley was what seven? Yeah, for real. Eight. Coil Ray is an adult. Roma. And he wasn't even talking shit about her. He made a statement based on the fact that she said that she needs your permission. But all of a sudden, <laughs> she's your princess. Are you trying to get Daddy of the Year award? Because she said Gra y'all grasping for sympathy. That's what this she is. She said y'all relationship sympathy. was shitty. Oh man, Ooh, let's continue. Genius. Let's see where this goes. Yes, she ain't done nothing but speak highly of this dude, bro. Why would you say some shit like that about Princess, about my daughter? What Where the f say? we go through? Are you crazy? These already stirred reactions from those who know better, who dropped Hopefully takes like he did not diss Koi. He just stated exactly what she said. Zeno's trying to turn this as if Eminem said what Zeno did. Zeno, do you remember when you death threatened her? And back to Ben Zeno's rant, he was pumped on liquid courage. He kept going in on Eminem at the start and even challenged the rapper to go round for round in a battle, believe it or not. <laughs> how about our battle then? And a, and a, a, how about a, how about we put this to bed three round battle where, where, where me and him battle battle rap we have a minutes and we battle how about that why don't just battle no violence after that we can hug it out what? he can't come in and invade hug it out what <laughs> this fool is wasted hold on wait this fool is wasted nigga no violence, mm. just battle. We all know what a battle rap is. You the first nigga got up here pounding your chest like fucking a gorilla, but all of a sudden, you don't talk shit about my child, you don't talk shit about me, I ain't never disrespecting your child, and we just supposed to hug it out? Man. Shut up. No, oh, wow. Shut up. Hip hop in Rosenberg and make trillions of dollars. Didn't even go to Nipsey's deal, funeral, bro. bro. He's so hip hop. Why? How come he ain't block ten blocks in the fucking Detroit and give it to the homeless black people? Man, fuck Eminem, bro. But it didn't take long well, for things to start setting in, and you know yeah. it wouldn't be complete without Benzino bringing up race, bro. Let me tell you, his fans, bro. His fans like him because he's white. They don't fuck with us. Let me try to make fuck Eminem. Uh, I dusted Eminem. Rap Elvis. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. How about that? <laughs> how, about, how, how come he ain't answer back? How come he ain't answer me? I'll beat the shit out of him with these. Eminem Top. or Machine Gun Kelly? 
Eminem, bro. <laughs> so, so which one? Fuck Eminem, so bro. Which one? Neither, fuck, fuck, both of them, bro. <laughs> so I guess fuck Cassidy will kill Eminem. They're literally laughing at him at this point. They're in there cracking up at this drunken rant that he's on. <laughs> but wait a minute, it's fuck like, both of them. Hold on, wait. It's fuck both of them. But didn't just a few interviews ago you said MGK killed other mm -hmm. So what you saying is you just don't like white people. Don't like white people. Oh man, this is hilarious. Eminem in a battle rap, bro. Why do y'all give Eminem so much props? Why? Why do y'all like Eminem because he's white? Damn. But the moment of truth came knocking. The moment that got the internet in shock. Even Benzino supporters are losing it right now over this. I don't got nothing against Eminem. Wait, what? I got nothing against Eminem. Eminem can rap, but I care about us more. Oh no, no, is he not crying for real? He thought he was just drunk and slurred. He is legit drunk crying. <laughs> and he is, he is slumped over you know the desk real, holding on to the mic. You know what's real? Because he took his sunglasses off. Took the sunglasses off. He is like slumped over holding on to the mic. Like if he lets go of the mic, he's going to fall out of his chair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. <gasps> you talk all that shit. Oh man. Just to cry. Oh my god. No, bring this back. Now, over this. I don't got nothing against Eminem. I got nothing against Eminem. I can rap. But I care about us more. I don't want to go through. I don't want to talk about it no more. I don't want to. For 22 years, every time I do an interview, they ask me about Eminem. The f you want me to do? Come on, man. My daughter came into the industry figuring that, hey, I gotta be cool with Eminem because everybody's against my dad. You think this shit is cool? No, oh, man. We're failing as a people. I don't hate Eminem. I don't know him to hate him. Yo, whoa, whoa. <laughs> We're failing as a people. Yo, what the fuck? Do not associate us, sir. Yo, I don't fucking know you, bro. Oh man! <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! People, lick it! Oh my god! Fad? That is too much. That is too much. Like nigga, we've been telling y'all ass this for twenty fucking years. But he's literally crying. Literally, not even. Oh. But you know what they say? A drunk man reduced to tears. Yeah. A, a drunk dr man will tell you his truth. But how do we feel like as the people, bro? Oh, this is man. not a collective. Y'all racism is showing up, the rest of us. Cool, bro. I'm chill with white people. Oh, this is hilarious. Lord. Oh, okay, let's continue. Uh -huh. Cool. Oh, man. Ooh, we're failing as a people. I don't hate Eminem. I don't know him to hate him. I don't hate white people. You sure? <laughs> 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 Tired of this sh Oh what man. Why oh, do you have to hit us with the meme, oh, man? Nah, why you give us the Umar with what? the rolls, bro? Hold oh, on. Oh, getting through this. This is Oh, oh this is hilarious. Oh god, wait a minute. Umar with the bells is kinda crazy. Like, I'm trying to hold back real tears from balls oh, over oh, and laughing. Man. Oh, I can't see Jesus. Okay. I'm just in pure shock. <clears throat> Oh Ooh, let's go. Shit, man, it's just too much. I don't want to be the bad guy. I don't want my DMs filled with. I've had n nine pages knocked down a million. White people think I love. I love all people. Come Wait, on, what? man. All me and Eminem got to do is sit down and talk with each other. Let's sit down and talk. You got like DMs. This battle. White people. Let's do it. Nine pages, nine pages of DMs. I print... probably believe it. Did you print them out? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Like you really printed them out in small print and still filled up nine pages. <laughs> I kind of believe like, that. I'm using the smallest font, and it still took up half of my paper. <laughs> All we gotta do. I don't know Eminem enough to hate him. But and while he's talking about white he people. I was just talking about white people. I saw some of those streams, and every time you say white people, I would see a whole. I am not white, sir. I am not white, sir. I am not white, sir. <laughs> like they was letting them know, like it's more than white people. I don't know him to hate him, but every time you get the chance, you got some negative ass shit to say. Ooh, okay. Oh man, we gotta finish this if we can. I don't know. Whatever. 
But let's at least face to face meet each other. If, if that was to happen, we're not gonna get blown in the <laughs> The snot bubble. You heard the snot bubble. <laughs> oh my lord! Look, look how he's looking at him, like yo. Not, look how face. Nor, I am not gonna lie to you. You couldn't. Ca you couldn't pay someone to have me like this on TV. Yo. And this the is all bat the internet. The Batman could not get this out of me, bro. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. If, if I'm not going for an Oscar for a best role, like, this ain't gonna ever be, like, the real oh, me on crying. Absolutely. You see this. I'm acting. I'm trying to get an award. <laughs> Nori Ega looks so fucking confused. The yeah. Batman, yeah. If, if that was to happen, would you give him a five? Man, I'd hug him. <laughs> And boy, even rappers are getting. That let you know. That let you know right there. All he wants is Eminem's attention. That's all this is about. He wants Eminem's approval. Would you give him a five? No, I'll hug him. Oh man. Oh, poor little Zeno. That's hilarious. Poor little Batman. Okay. You didn't get enough hugs growing up. Be roasted right now. The rappers who praised Rap Elvis, for instance, Ransom tweeted this after Rap Elvis dropped. Benzino created an effective diss record, in my opinion, and now he's getting tagged in clips of Benzino reduced to tears with takes like the quote effective diss has left the building, along with the ghost writers and everyone he name dropped in the song that denied what he said. And it is wild how hip hop heads suddenly allowed using ghost writers for a diss this song all because it was aimed at Eminem and even King Lowe's was out here looking crazy losing credibility over Benzino and now we got hip-hop media journals like Justin Hunt dropping takes like this is sad Benzino got too many demons to be beefing with Eminem or anybody and he expanded I mean seriously Eminem ethered Benzino so bad he's crying in interviews beef over. People seem to forget is, that when this started over anything. two decades ago, Benzino is. Oh, Eminem hasn't even said anything back. Oh man. He's not responded and he's already crying. That's the thing. In order, in order to warrant a response, the diss track has to be good enough. It wasn't. But, and this just makes it worse. And what this lets me know is you've been crying in your car, in your <laughs> pillow. At home by yourself but for I'm tired of, two years. I'm tired of years. asking me about Eminem. Oh. You, my nigga. No, they, well, see, the thing is, and it, it, what, what kills me is it'd be easy enough for him to shut it down. Like, 22 years, because I see that they'll ask me about Eminem and everything because you keep talking about it. Like, and every time somebody asks you, you go on like a 10 minute rant. But here's something. the thing that's it's the problem. Up until Eminem but, had got into the Hip Hop Hall of Fame. I don't think anybody fucking asked Benzino his opinion. But he kept giving it. So then when we get on interviews and everything, when he got interviews, that's the thing. It's not like he's already always So don't sit there and say that everybody, every time you <laughs> interview, is asking you about Eminem. Would you but even if they were. constantly bringing the man up. Even if they were, instead of going on your 10-minute rant each time, you could easily be like, I'm not talking about that. Let's move on to something else. It's your fault oh, for letting it linger this long. Oh, my God. Oh man. Right. Assumed the role of bully and gatekeeper due to his role at the source, how the quote mighty have fallen. And in response to Justin Hunt, the user expanded on this note. The wild thing about all of this is that Benzino started all of this for no reason. If Benzino never dissed Eminem and never became ENC of the source, the source magazine would have still been respectable for another decade. And some believe yeah. Benzino just set a new record. Benzino might be the first rap dude to kick off a beef argue with himself and somehow still walks away a crying loser and on a serious oh, he starts a beef beef with himself and loses and now we're crying you're losing beef with yourself bro oh man you you get to officially be someone that got bodied without a response you got bodied by yourself you got bodied by interviews bro 
Oh, man. Note, some believe Benzino needs help. Somebody check on Benzino, man. I don't think we've ever witnessed something like this in hip hop on a mainstream level. This has gotta be a first, when oh, the real. aftermath of a beef leads to a breakdown like this. And some believe this should be a lesson. This is what M does to folk. He got this man crying and his daughter turning on him and MGK now sucks blood <laughs> to get by. Moral of the story. Because he's been getting brought up and, and this uh, who's who's dissing him it right now? A, oh god, I uh, think it was a box or it, it was an MMA fighter, fighter. But I can't remember the name. Oh, he's I been can't. roasting him and then Benzino and Benzino brought him to the and then Benzino brought him to the argument because Benzino was like, Oh, MGK killed Eminem. Eminem won that battle. I mean MGK won that battle in my opinion. So Look, he, he bro, drug MGK into for, it. For a minute, MGK <laughs> was just in his own lane making rock music. And now he's just getting... Emin he I, it's not his not his left and right. MGK's rock music is good. They just need to leave that man alone. Let him do what he do now. He's been getting straight... Oh. Catching straight left and right. They'll never let him live the Eminem thing down. He don't need to be brought back into it. <laughs> let, him, make, make it let him make his music. Is, like so many have said, don't mess with the white boy. Eminem sold over 220 million albums around the world, by far the biggest rapper of all time. And when Eminem tweeted, people think they want this problem till they get it. He wasn't just talking about himself. And people like Ben Zino and MGK have learned the hard way. And if you don't know, MGK also had a breakdown over a kill shot in public. To Eminem, to Chicago's beef. How tall are you? Yeah. I remember that. I remember that. I would be good Another too. One. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and check this out. That Henny got Benzino speaking like, drunk. He was, he was literally throwing tantrums out there. Yeah, truths right. about Eminem and his daughter Coyle Ray. Always remember what soberness conceals, drunkenness reveals. And here is a nice summary of this drama in 2024. Imagine being in debt, getting bodied by Eminem publicly, and the only chance to get out of debt is clout chasing the man who pretty much took it all away in the first place. And while there are some people who feel sorry for Benzino, some you Users aren't letting up. Nah, some of us are old enough to remember when you was playing with Eminem's career, back when you were co-owner of Source magazine. You literally started the beef, then got your bum handed to you. Don't start crying now. I'll be looking forward to your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Oh man, thank you for the updates. ET Lifestyle, you always do your thing. The funny cutaways got us. Oh my god, he really started crying like for real, for real. Crying, I was like, Is this a metaphor or are they just making fun of him? No, he really started crying Ridiculous. for real, for real. Crying is crazy. <laughs> I never, <laughs> that's not what I was expecting to see. <laughs> mm. like, wow, mm -mm. hang it up, Ray. Hang it up, just got go me, home. got me crying laughing right now. I'm sorry, I was, but I knew it was downhill when, when we saw him. When you saw him down that whole glass like that, I knew it was down I've here. Never I'm like, so, oh, here we go. So we're in for a treat. Watching a video. I knew we were in for a treat. I've literally never been so disappointed watching a single video. I've never laughed so hard at an interview video. I laugh, <laughs> but it's just Benzino just makes me. I love so y'all, but we gotta wrap this up. My damn mm -hmm. stomach hurt. Ah, uh, for so real, hard. yeah. So, <laughs> all right, y'all, for real. Y'all know what to do. Go down in the comment section. Let us know what y'all thought about this one. Let us know like if you see us react to next. Hit that like button before you go. Share this video with everyone you know. And subscribe if you haven't done so already, all right? So, till next time, take care of yourselves. And we're out of here. Y'all be easy.